happy morning children hope you all doing good and safe today we are going to learn ms paint microsoft paint before getting to the class let's revise microsoft notepad whatever we see in the previous classes come children tell me what is notepad notepad is nothing but it is a text editor notepad is nothing but it is a text editor have we all remember the symbol of the notepad children it is like your notebook okay this notepad is developed by microsoft corporation team we all remember it's developed by microsoft corporation okay then it runs all the versions of microsoft windows operating system this microsoft notepad runs in all the versions of microsoft windows operating system are we all able to recall children okay then how to launch how to get into the microsoft notepad how many steps are there to get into the microsoft notepad we have four steps the first one click on the start button second one click on the all programs third one click on accessories button the last step click on the notepad are we all able to recall children the next one the components of the notepad components of the notepad in the first screen the notepad screen we will see the first bar is called a title bar the title bar holds the name of the name of the application and file name and the symbol of the application to the left side and to the right side you can see the symbol of the minimize button maximize or restore button and close button okay just below the title bar we have menu bar each menu contains number of menu option along with the shortcut keys so we have a menu bar just above the title bar the menus like a file edit view and etc okay the white blank area is called the text area where we type our text are you able to recall what is cursor what is mouse pointer are you able to remember the symbol of the cursor and the mouse pointer hope children you all familiar the symbol of the mouse pointer and cursor okay then we have a two types of scroll bar that is vertical scroll bar and horizontal scroll bar the vertical scroll bar moves the page from top to bottom or bottom to top and the horizontal scroll bar moves the page from left to right or right to left okay these are the main components of the microsoft notepad then we have learned shortcut keys are you all remember children the shortcut keys all comes under each menu in a file menu we have seen the shortcut keys like a control plus n to open a new document and control plus o to open a existing document what is meaning by existing already worked and saved file that is called a existing file to open a existing file we use shortcut key control plus o then after finishing our work we use shortcut keys control plus s to save our file okay then under edit menu we have see often used shortcut keys that is undo control plus z to move to the previous action then we have see control plus c x and v cut and paste copy and paste are you all able to remember children then we have see shortcut keys like a find and replace to make a find text we have see a shortcut keys control plus f for replace control plus h then to make a selection whatever the action we do under edit menu that is copy cut and 
making a alignment uh, making changing the font style we we have to make a selection to make a selection we have to um, select the text so the shortcut keys to make a selection is control plus a okay children these are the shortcut keys we have studied in microsoft notepad okay hope children this notepad you all thorough with the notepad application comes children let's move on to microsoft paint let's start learning microsoft paint ms is nothing but it's a microsoft paint what is microsoft paint it is a graphics editor using microsoft paint we can create a images that is 2d images okay you can draw and color and you can develop your own images with the help of microsoft paint and this microsoft paint also runs all the versions of microsoft windows operating system okay it it's also developed by microsoft team this microsoft paint also developed by microsoft microsoft team okay so when we save the images in the microsoft paint the images are saved in different format okay based on the quality and size the images are saved with different format that is like a jpeg gif and div and png format okay children for example whatever the images you view images or photos or pictures whatever you view the each images or photos are belonging to any category of image format just to notice children whenever you view a photo or image or picture that particular image or photo or picture belonging to any category of image format the image formats like a jpeg gif png big map and tiff these are the different category of image format now now let's start with the ms paint come children microsoft paint is a graphics editor used for creating images with different image format such as jpeg gif png big map tiff based on the size and quality the image format or categorized children epella ninga vandu or whatsapp la ungalude images ninga paakringa images ah irukalam illa photos ah irukalam illa pictures ah irukalam and over picture um edachu or image format la kurikum ninga note panni paarenga okay children so the image image picture is belonging to any one of the image format is it clear start with ms paint step 1 click on start button step 2 click on all programs step 3 click on accessories button step 4 click on paint option the paint window appears on the screen parts of the paint window one quick access toolbar it has buttons for common tasks two title bar it shows the name of your drawing and program three paint button it has different options to work in paint 4 tab it has different tools arranged in different groups 5 group it has many tools for a related task 6 ribbon it has different tabs and groups 7 drawing area it is the white blank space for drawing and coloring working with ms paint step 
click on home tab step 2 click on oval tool step 3 choose thickness step 4 select a color step 5 now come to the drawing area press and hold down the left button of the mouse and drag the mouse step 6 release the mouse button when an oval is made step 7 now click on fill with color tool step 8 select a color step 9 in the drawing area click inside the shape to fill it with your chosen color